especially in Hong Kong, when you're on the street or when you meet people in a coffee shop or in a shop, it's very difficult to figure out or see how the person actually is or what their situation is. But when you go to someone's home, you can see their priorities or how they want to live and their relationships. I lived in North Point for two and a half years and then I moved to another part of North Point for three years or so. Over the last years, I've come back and photographed different things. So I've had different projects, different aspects of North Point also. For me, it's, I like the neighborhood because it's had different waves of migrants, you know, in the early 50s with your Shahanis and, you know, late 50s or 60s with your Fujianis coming. And now you have a lot of the Sunny Man who live here, but also you have a lot of expats and you have a lot of migrant workers. It's a really an interesting mix of people. Madeline was my neighbour when I lived in Lower Cayun Lane. A few years ago, I photographed her home. They moved across the street because the apartments were torn down here. Do you have other relatives who live? No, because the, the sister. My ma no, my mom used to live here. Mm -hmm. This building, and then uh, yeah, upstairs of ours. Yeah. Our last apartment was also torn down. The building was bought by a developer also, and it was very difficult to find an apartment that we wanted to live in, so that we moved out of the neighborhood. Rents have been going up a lot in North Point, because a lot of the flats were investment flats that people had bought, and it's just they were just standing empty. So it's, it's a bit frustrating, because you have people with a lot of money who are coming in and buying properties in neighborhoods and changing them, while you know, people who actually live there and who have lived there for a long time if they don't own their flats, find it very difficult to find a new flat that's comparable, same size. Poverty is very obviously it's about the lack of financial means and things for people, but also at the same time it's about how people can move within a society. And I think my project, it looks at how a lot of different people live. It's not just a question of migration, it's a question of maintaining your standard of living. How do you maintain your quality of life with these kinds of rising costs? So it's, it's squeezing everybody and it's, it's very dangerous because you have a lot of people who are in the middle classes who can possibly fall to the poverty line because of the cost of living in Hong Kong. And I don't consider my projects very literal documentary projects because you know, everything is subjective. It's more of a, a self-discovery and a discovery of the area. One of the things that photography helps me with is to think, reach out to other people, learn and understand people's lives. That for me is very important.